Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. This video picks up where we left off in Nano RP2040 Connect web server mashup. You see, I have two of these Nano Connect boards. I usually try to buy things in pairs when I can. That way I can either break one or give one away. <laughs> In this video, let's see how we can get one Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect to interact with the other over the web using Wi-Fi and HTTP. This seems to be a common thread in people's comments on my videos on the Shotoku Tech YouTube channel. Look for the link in the description down below to my GitHub site where you can get the code. In the Nano RP2040 Connect web server mashup sketch, I want to comment out the part that waits for the serial monitor to connect. I want my Nano Connect web server to run the sketch without the need to connect to the serial monitor. This way I can simply power the Nano Connect web server from a jump battery if I want to. My Wi-Fi router has the option to automatically reserve IP addresses for each DHCP client. This means I can expect my Nano Connect web server will be at the same IP address every time I power it on. I won't need to check it on the serial monitor unless there's a problem. Also, in the web server sketch, I want to simplify the interaction with the client. Instead of having hyperlinks to turn the RGB LEDs off, we will only have hyperlinks to turn them on. In the web server sketch, we will turn the LEDs off again one second later. The Nano Connect web client will sense some change on one of its sensors and send an HTTP GET message to the Nano Connect web server, and that turns on one of the RGB LEDs on the web server. The web server then turns that LED off again. Here, I'm using the web interface to test the web server, turning each LED on and watching the web server turn it off afterwards. Now, let's start mashing up the Wi-Fi Nina Wi-Fi Web Client Repeating Sketch. First, I need to test that the GET message from the web client will actually turn the web server LED on. In the Wi-Fi web client repeating sketch, there is this 10 second delay between each HTTP connect attempt. I'm knocking this down to 5 seconds. While it is useful in example demonstrations, I don't like using too many delays in too many places. Ultimately, when we get done, the only program delay will be the 1 second delay to turn the LED off on the web server. Finally, we add this RH to the GET message to turn the red LED on on the server. Now, let's upload the sketch. This web client repeating sketch also has the code that waits for the serial monitor to connect. We have opened the serial monitor, the Nano Connect is connected to the Wi-Fi network, and we can see this RP2040 web client repeating sketch does turn the red LED on on the web server. The web client waits five seconds again before messaging the server, and the server turns the red LED off after one second. Now, let's take this a step further. Let's use the motion sensor on the Nano Connect board. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to use motion on the y-axis of the web client to trigger an HTTP GET message that will turn the red LED on on the server. Testing with the LSM6DSOX simple accelerometer sketch, ignoring the X and Z reading, and filtering the Y reading for anything greater than 0.5 or less than negative 0.5, we have a good model. Now, let's mash up the simple accelerometer sketch with the Wi-Fi web client repeating sketch. You need to add the include file for the LSM6DSOX sensor to the Wi-Fi web client repeating sketch. In void setup of the Wi-Fi web client repeating sketch, 
we initialize the LSM6 DSOX sensor. In void loop, we add the logic to filter the motion of the x-axis reading. A reading greater than 0.5 or less than negative 0.5 will call the HTTP request function. This in turn sets the getRH message to turn on the red LED on the NanoConnect web server. I'm removing the 5 second delay from the Wi-Fi web client repeating sketch. Remember, we have a 1 second delay on the server side as part of the server response to the client get message. Oh yeah, I put the Y filter logic in the wrong place here. Let's take it out of the HTTP request function and put it in void loop. Now we're ready to upload the Wi-Fi web client repeating sketch. The web client repeating sketch has that code that waits for the serial monitor to connect before program execution continues. The client connects to the Wi-Fi network. Now let's give the web client a shake on the Y axis. Hey, it works! This is cool. A single sharp motion on the Y axis lights the red LED on the web server. And you can see really strong readings seem to queue up the GET messages so the red LED on the web server is lighted repeatedly. This is a relatively simple demonstration. I hope it gives you some ideas. Leave a comment down below on how you would incorporate the X and Z axis motion into this mashup. Make sure to look for the link in the description below to my GitHub site where you can get the code. And before you watch one of these videos, give this video a like, click on subscribe, that helps me keep making more of these videos. And thank you very much.